Five minutes away from the opening bell on Wall Street, a live look at downtown Manhattan here, lower Manhattan. And, and somewhat of a nicer day, by the way, than it was yesterday. A little cold, but uh, you see some blue sky, vanilla sky peeking out in the back. By the way, rewatch Vanilla Sky last night, Tom Cruise movie. Excellent. Uh, but that's not what we're talking about today. We are talking about the markets. There is a lot to look at. Finishing strong yesterday, but again, the Dow adding more than 300 points then. The future of the economy, the, the banking crisis we've seen weighing in hard right now on investors. Companies are still laying off employees in a move to cut costs. Insider is reporting that Apple is now delaying bonuses and limiting hiring efforts. With us now, Peter Morisi is a professor of business at the University of Maryland. John Schnatter is the former founder of Papa John's. Welcome to you both and thanks for coming on. Uh, this report on Apple, we'll focus on that before we get to the markets, um, comes on the heels of Facebook's parent company, Meta, announcing more than 10,000 job layoffs. Peter, let me go to you. What does this tell you about the tech industry today? Well, remember, a lot of tech products were purchased during the, the pandemic and the shutdowns. These days, laptops last a long time. I dug a little deeper. What's slowing down at Apple most are your wearables like watches, which are kind of a luxury when you think about it, and their laptops. Their phones still sell to the extent they can get them made, but they've had trouble with the supply chain in China. So this tells me that, you know, we continue to shift to services and the economy continues to grow but more slowly. John, I'll bring you into this. Obviously, no stranger to running a, a major business yourself and continuing to do so. Uh, talk to me about the, the job layoffs that you've seen and, and the companies that have to make these decisions uh, to lay off their employees. Difficult decisions to do, but, but, but necessary. How does that process work? Yes, if you look at it in a macro basis, it's, it's at parallel and parity with the Great Depression. The crash of 29 was caused by the policies in the 1920s, uh, and nobody really goes back and reviews that. What's interesting about this situation is we know the last the 10 years of poor monetary uh, policy with free money has created a, a, a timing um, ticking ball um, that's ready to explode at any second. So we're, we're dealing with an inferno here. I think big tech is just one of the many things that are going to happen because of such bad monetary policy the last 10 years that's going to set us up for a pretty good blaze here. We are now less than three minutes away from opening bell. Peter, what are you watching for uh, on Wall Street? I want to see if the regional banks continue to hold up. The rescue package that's been put in place by the Fed is, is, is a very sound one. And uh, if, the, if it holds up, then they can raise interest rates next week, as they should, because I uh, agree that inflation is a terrible problem. We've had a terribly lax monetary policy in the past, and then we have to tighten our belts and just get this thing licked now. And that means you know, not moving gradually, but moving a f rather firmly. Yeah, one of the big headlines right now, at least for the next l two minutes, are, are the uh, the futures. Dow futures right now down 600 points. NASDAQ down 166. Again, those are the futures here. So uh, something uh, of major to watch today when that opening bell rings in about a minute and a half. We'll see what happens. Could be volatile. Peter Morisi joining us live. John Schnatter, thank you very much. We appreciate you both.